Sup, 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 guys, we're here for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. I know we typically release this on Thursdays, but welcome to Stock Market. This week is a special edition, let's put it that way, because tomorrow's Comic-Con New York, and I don't feel comfortable releasing a stock market in good enough quality or high enough quality without screwing something major up uh, when it comes to Comic-Con New York. So, you're getting it early, and then later tonight, you're getting the Legendary Dex 2 on the channel as we... Always are freaking consistent on those Wednesdays, man. It is what it is. Let's let's make this happen. So, Silver Gadget, $5 now. I just have a feeling it's going to get beyond reprinted before we get to the movie pack. But, there is the, the second movie pack that's coming, the movie pack Gold Series. So, this is getting reprinted pretty much in there. It should be alongside with Gold Gadget. But, they're $5 each right now. So, I can't take that away from that. So, if you have yet to pick yours up... They're $4 more than they used to be. System downs are at uh, $2.22. The main reason is it's a good side deck card against ABC. Even if they choose to tag out, you remove the pieces. It doesn't really matter. It's a great side deck card to use against the ABC deck because they're all machines. Diamond Direwolf, I'm not quite sure, but the Secret Rare is sitting at $14 to around $20 apiece. Again, not quite sure why that is, but it is a thing. Maybe it's just Ancient Gear hype. I don't really know. Grave of the Super Ancient Organism is running around $11 to $13 apiece. It's, it's got its use. Star Seraph, the chair, Salventine, is $8.35 to $8.41 apiece. So if you have yet to pick yours up, you already know what I'm going to say. The Scepter is only a buck, which... Still makes me rack my head. You figured that this would go up with the chair, but I guess chair is more useful. So, Gemini Garnet, $7.77. That is the luckiest number in the world, 777. Uh, but the DT1 is $14, so there's that if you haven't picked up the DT1. Alloy Adjusted Cycle Reader, also good against ABC as well as Blue Eyes. Starting to dip a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. It's sitting around $8 right now, but again, I may be mistaken by saying it dipped down. I'm not quite sure. I did say this was going to happen. So shipping Lois first. Let's see what these are going at. Barrier Statue of the Torrent is now around 6 bucks to 7 apiece. I did say it was going to happen last week. That it was starting to rise, so feels good, man. Uh, Super Agents, the Spiral is sitting at $12 to 14 we don't know all the full spiral support I wasn't hyping it yesterday I was just letting you guys know cause some people just say I hype things I was letting you guys know hey the price jumped and if you wanna make quick cash sell them off it's simple as that um, the thing is if you picked up your spiral super agents around the time close to like worlds when Konami constantly was talking about oh yeah the next set with you know, spirals are getting more support, then you did good. You done did good. The Secret Village, this is on pre-order. I would not recommend picking this up quite just yet. Keep in mind, not everyone's going to have the product till Friday. That's the actual release date. But, hey, $10 super uh, for the Secret Village of Spellcasters. That's the common edition. If we look for the super, I think they're still going around $17.50. So just hold off a little while longer. Just a little while longer. Because you don't want to overpay for something that's going to drop in price. Silver's Cry from the Duelist Pack is going to run you $3.25 this week on. Digusto Emerel is $14.87 to $15 apiece. That is for the Premium Gold 3 for both editions. Again, not quite sure why that jumped up, but it is a thing. Jar of Avarice, this is a pre-order for the Common, $1.44. I'm betting we're going to see that thing for a dollar, considering that you can get the Secret Rare version for $1.47. Price is not going to jump. Price is not going to jump. Feels good. Cleefort Monolith, $36.98. Still has yet to get reprinted, Konami. We're just letting you know, this still needs to get reprinted. Uh, Shadow Mist is sitting at $5 a piece, so if you have Shadow Mist, you can pretty much start unloading them. Again, we get closer and closer to Trito dot deck. That's gonna keep rising. Quakey Mirror Force is still around 15 bucks. I think it went down 50 cents, which is not too much to be completely fair. But hey, it went down. Dark Law Ultimate Rare 44 dollars and 44 cents to 45 still, mainly because of you know the fact that it comes out of Torment Pack and the fact that we're getting close to the Dark Law you know Dark Law dot Trito deck to be fair. Totem Bird, $4. Again, 
you have two Magi Spectre Raccoons in whatever deck you're playing, Magi Spectre Raccoons, and you can't do anything with them. This is a neat card to, you know, bring out. It'll have 1900, it can nullify a spell or a trap. It's pretty good. Vomit Shark, 289. The Secret Rare will run you $15 to around 20. The Fire Formation Tenki, the German is 45, the Italian's 45, the German's 40 to <laughs> $50. I guess if you want like an English one, it's going to cost you anywhere from 50 to $100 a piece for just the ultimate rare one. There is a super rare one, I'll keep an eye on it, but just letting you guys know. Jalgoon Spiritualist, $3.39 to $3.40. These are moderately played, light played. You want mint, it's going to run you around $3.50 still. Gale Dogra, we talked about this on, I think, either Let's Talk or Theria. We, you know, we brought it up, my thoughts on it. Uh, $3.30, basically Turbo Ritual dot deck, that's why that's $3.30. Photon Thrasher, $3.95, this is for the rare, and again, ABCs are using it. And for the ultimate rare, it's going to run you $50 and up. Then we got Phantom Knight Break Store, coming in at $40. We're going to be going like lightning mode right now, to say the least. Speed Rory Terror Top, $10.44. It has not moved quite just yet. So if you still want them, pick them up. Fog Blade, $10.59. We're keeping an eye on it, because obvious is obvious. The Wing Dragon Raw Spear Mode is up from $17 to $24 this week. So you have yet to get yours. That's not really a great time to pick it up. But hey, if you want to out three things on the board at once, Spear Mode. MX Saber and Volker. Down from $30 to $27.62. That's not all that bad, but it's not all that great. It's about the same price. Book of Eclipse. We talk about this commonly because it's so good. $1.78 to $1.79 a pop. And then we get to Pot of Desires. This week it went up another $5 to $10. Sitting at $85 to $90 a piece. So if you have yet to get your Pot of Desires... I pretty much tell you right now, it's not worth buying it for 90 That is my honest god freaking opinion there. Uh, Silent Swordsman, $6.45 from the Duelist Pack. We got Silent Paladin from the Duelist Pack, $3.69. We got the Lullaby of Obedience, again from Duelist Pack, at $13.49. We got the Silent Magician, $7.50. And of course, Dark Sanctuary. Oh, I thought this was Dark Sanctuary. We got Tribute Burial. We have Dark Sanctuary at $5.25. That's what I thought we were going over. We have Cyber Angel Benton at $5.99 still. We have the Herald of Perfection from Premium Gold 2 at $2.90. And if you want the original pack one, it's down to about $7. So not too bad at all. Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon, $6.50. Then we get to Soul Charge, $1.75, that's the Ultra. The Dark Lord Superbia is up $2 this week, now sitting at 6 bucks a piece. So if you have yet to pick yours up, that's not that great. Dupe Frog, lightly played, is going to run you a little over $4. Near Mint is going to run you over $4, about $4.50. Main reason is, all the Frog stuff is jumping up in price, keep an eye on it. Dark Lord Zerato, $22.95. That is the secret rare from Phantom Darkness. The gold series one, I believe, is like $5.95 currently. And the commons are still about a buck. Pre-preparation of rights, a dollar now, because it, it went back down. Like, it's just not going anywhere. Uh, Shirayui Solitaire, six bucks. Good to see that back at a lower price. Ritual Sanctuary is sitting at $9 a piece to $10 if you yet to pick yours up. Dark Magical Circle is going to run you $27.95 to $28. It's starting to decrease just ever so slightly. Magician's Navigation, however, $20.89. Maybe it'll go down in upcoming weeks. Just maybe. Coral Dragon, $14 this week on eBay. Then we get to Solemn Shrike. That's sitting around $24 to $25. So if you yet to pick yours up, do it soon. That's Pretty much my advice. Scarlet Red Dragon Arching is still four bucks. You should pick those up if you haven't gotten yours. Clear Wing, same thing, two dollars ninety cents. Can't go wrong. Just a good synchro to have. Crystal Wing, thirty-five bucks. There's only one listing, and the other listing uh, for Crystal Wing in English is about forty. So that's not too bad, but it's about the same price it's been. Maybe it'll go down. Cyframe Lord Omega has gone down by five dollars to fifty-five bucks. Not a huge difference, but it's starting to decrease ever so slightly. 
Twin Twisters, $9.50. When these first came out of the Mega Pack, they were a little bit cheaper. More, I guess more people were assuming that there was going to be more of them flying around, but there wasn't. Now we get to Allure of Darkness and every rarity, starting with Common at $7.59 with 75 cents to ship. That's going to run you a little over 8 bucks. The Allure of Darkness Super Rare from Raging Battle, I believe it is, $11.44. That's from the Special Edition. If you want the original Phantom Darkness one, that's going to be $22.95. And if you want Ultimate Rare one, that's going to run you $34 this week on eBay to $35. Number 38, Hope Harbinger, is going to run you $8.00. The Laboratory Dragon at 7 and the Winter Cherries is now $30 a piece if you have yet to pick yours up. It was not a bad time to have picked them up for $25 a piece, but they're going to be near on staple when it comes to using against your opponent, against that Tree Toad, against that ABC Buster Dragon, but there's also the Kaijus and, of course, System Down. You can run just my advice for my budget friends. Okay, here we go for the last stuff of today. We have the Bujin Exceed, the main one that ABC is going to use. The regular version is $12, the Ultimate is $16.50. Then we have Cosmo Dark Lady at $6.74, the Cosmojo at $12, and the Cosmo Dark Planet at $4. Then we have Tin Goldfish at $8, we have Swap Frog at $2.35, we have Anti Spellfrogans at $16.50. We have Melody of Awakening Dragon on pre-order for $2, or you can just get the common one right now for $2.65. So, going to be pretty damn cheap. Cosmic Cyclone, $13.99. The only card in Blue Eyes that will maintain its actual price and be worth it is Sage with the Eyes of Blue, because Alternative Dragon should get reprinted in the Gold Series Movie Pack Edition. Keep that in mind if you're looking to build Blue Eyes. Sage with the Eyes of Blue will come at a later time. I pretty much can guarantee you that much. It's it's a Konami thing. The Black Zone of Legend is going to run $7 on pre-order. We don't have a set price at the moment. There's not any real listings for the new one. But you can find the old one for $24.50. The White Zone of Ancients, this is again pre-order on Common, is $5.01. Just hold off to see what the price is. We'll completely look at when they settle. But from the looks of it, we, you can get a hollow one for about $12.49, so that's not too bad. And then final, final three cards. The Treasure of the Ying Zing, $8.40. The Darkness of the Ying Zing, Jiao Tu, $10. And, of course, Chu in the Light of the Ying Zing at $7.33. That's going to end off stock market for this week. I'll see you guys next Thursday. We'll be back on schedule for that. But there may not be a video tomorrow because Comic-Con New York... But hopefully this and, of course, what's coming out tonight will hold you over to then. But, you know, till Friday when a new video will actually appear on the channel. Because I've just been super swamped and I'm trying to get this out in time for you guys. But thank you so much for the continuous support and all the, you know, the good comments, the positivity that you guys bring to the channel means the world to me in all seriousness. If I left anything out, let me know. It's just this week has been freaking hell when I'm trying to, like... Just once we're away from Comic-Con New York, once that's over, said, and done, as beautiful of a thing it is, I'll be in a much better position to actually focus on the channel a little bit more instead of focusing on, I gotta make sure I got content for you guys that doesn't suck, you know what I mean? So, I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for tuning in.